Good morning, mathematicians. My name is Miss Phillips, and I am oh so glad that you are here today. Today is Thursday, January the 21st, 2021, and it is a beautiful day to learn. But we have a lot of hard work to do, and I need you to be ready for it. So we've got two things that we need to do really quickly. The first thing is I need you to get something to write on and something to write with. It could be a pen and a pencil, or a pen and, or a pencil, a piece of paper, or a whiteboard. I'm gonna count by fives all the way to 100. And by the time I finish, I need you to be ready to learn. If you already have your supplies out, go ahead and count with me. Ready, let's go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Y'all did such an amazing job doing that so quickly and now you're ready to learn. Let's go ahead and put on our very best thinking caps. Ready? Oh my word, so many of those thinking caps look so cute. Mine has purple polka dots and pink stripes. What does yours look like? Oh my word, that's awesome. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Friends, today we are gonna be sharing a very important mathematician's minute, and it is about telling time. But first, I'm feeling like we need to warm up our brains. Let's do some number talks. I'm gonna flash a picture on my screen for four short seconds, and your job is to sit, see if you can figure out how many shapes there are. Now. Is four seconds a long time to count objects? Not really. So you might need to use strategies like adding and subtraction, subtracting to help you be a super duper extra quick counter. Do you think you can do it? Okay, let's do the first one together. Ready, get set. You've got four seconds and go. All right, boys and girls. How many frogs did you see? That's right, there were seven frogs. Go ahead and hold up seven on your fingers for me. Awesome job, boys and girls. Go ahead and kiss your brain if you got that. Amazing. Now, some of you may have counted all seven frogs, and if you did, that's pretty awesome. But I did not have time to count all seven frogs. So you might have had to use a strategy like addition. I know as a mathematician that every time I see a 10 frame, it has 10 squares in it. The top row has five and the bottom row has five. So you might have noticed that our top row was completely full and our bottom row had two frogs. Five plus seven, I mean five plus two equals seven. Very good boys and girls, okay. Let's see if we can do another one. Um, all right guys, this time we're gonna be looking at butterflies. Go ahead and flap your wings like a butterfly. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna have four seconds to count the butterflies. On your mark, get set, and go. All right, boys and girls, did you count nine butterflies? If you did, that's exactly right. High five me through the screen. Amazing, boys and girls. So some of you might have had time to count all nine butterflies, but I use subtraction as my strategy. So I know as a mathematician that every time I see a 10 frame, it has 10 boxes. But I noticed that one of my boxes this time was empty. So I decided to do this problem by thinking in my head, ah, 10 minus one equals nine. Nine butterflies. Amazing jobs, boys and girls. Okay, now our brains are ready to learn. I think they're pretty nice and warm. What about you? Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get to our learning target. Our learning target today says I can tell time to the hour. I want you to say that with me. So we're gonna do something called my turn, your turn. 
Ms. Phillips is gonna say my turn and I'm gonna say the learning target and then I'm gonna say your turn and you're going to toss it right back to me. As you're repeating it, I wanna challenge you to read along with the words on the bottom of my learning target. Because mathematicians not only read numbers, they also read words. How cool is that? Alrighty, boys and girls. Ready? My turn. I can tell time to the hour. Your turn. Amazing job. Okay, let's say it one more time, but this time let's whisper. Ready? My turn. I can tell time to the hour. Your turn. Amazing. Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna be talking all about telling time to the hour, but I wanna take a moment to step back and tell you what time even is. Time is a way that we measure how long something takes. We have all sorts of ways of measuring time. Time can be measured in years, months, days, hours, half hours, minutes, seconds, and teensy tiny pieces of time that are much, much smaller than a second. Can you show me smaller than a second on your fingers? Oh my gosh, that's so small I can hardly see it. That's awesome. Alrighty guys, so we just talked about different ways of measuring time. We also have a ton of tools that can help us measure time. We might use a digital clock like this one. We could use a sand timer to measure smaller pieces. Sometimes if you're trying to figure out how to get done something with something extra quickly, you might set a timer to make sure you do it fast. And sometimes to measure years, days, and months, we might even use a calendar. A calendar lists the month at the top. It has the days of the weeks. And then each day has its own box for you to see what's happening on that day. Now, those are some pretty cool tools. But as cool as they are, I think the coolest thing about time is that whether or not we have a tool to measure it, it's always happening around us each and every moment. Let's experience 30 seconds together. Earlier, I asked you to take out something to write with and something to write on. What I want to do for the next 30 seconds is see how many numbers we can write in 30 seconds. I'm going to start at the number 54, and for the next 30 seconds, I want you counting up from 54, writing each number, and we're going to see who can get to the highest number. On your mark, get set, and go. And time is up. We all just experienced writing numbers for 30 seconds. I got to the number 71. Anybody get higher than me? I just heard that somebody got to 76. That's crazy. Amazing job, boys and girls. So we just saw what it's like to experience 30 seconds, but today we are talking about time to the hour. So let's talk about why we measure time in hours. Boys and girls, it takes about 24 hours for the Earth to rotate around its axis one time. And in that time, we have day and we have night. So what we use to measure those 24 hours is a clock. A clock has a face just like you and me. Go ahead and point to your face. Amazing. Everybody, let's go ahead and make a silly face really quick. Awesome. Now, while you can make a silly face, 
um, with your face, a clock's face just has 12 numbers on it. It has 12 numbers on it, just like this one. But first, I want to talk to you guys about another type of clock. Boys and girls, we have two types of clocks that we're going to be talking about today, and that is digital clocks and analog clocks. Now, a digital clock, I don't even really need to teach you because all you have to do with a digital clock is look at the numbers on it. You read the digits or numbers and you say them just how they're written. For example, here, I see that this clock says 1200 and we say when we see 00, we say O clock. So this clock says 12 O clock. Now, an analog clock is a little bit trickier, but it's not too tricky for us. So like I said earlier, an analog clock has a face just like you and me. And on that face, there are 12 numbers that can help us tell time. Now, the face of a clock also has two hands just like you and me. Go ahead and clap your two hands. Ready? One, two. Amazing, boys and girls. So those two hands are our hour hand and our minute hand. Our hour hand is really friendly, guys. He's pretty easy to read. He tells us exactly what to say. If the hour hand is pointing to the seven, we would start telling time by saying seven. If he's pointing to the 12, we would start telling time by saying 12. Now, where is this hour hand pointing? That's exactly right. It's pointing at the nine. So we would start telling time by saying nine. Our minute hand is a little bit trickier, but once again, it's not too tricky for us. As we read our minute hand, um, we know that we start each hour at the 12 by pointing at the 12. When we read our minute hand, if it's pointing at the 12, we simply say, O clock. Ready? My turn. O clock. Your turn. Amazing. So this time, our minute hand is pointing at the 12, so we would say O clock. Let's practice reading this full time together. Ready? Let's read the hour hand first. Our hour hand says nine. And remember, our hour hand is super friendly, so all we have to do is say what number he's pointing to, nine. Now we need to look at our minutes. But first, as mathematicians, we have to write our time the proper way. When we write times, we write hours, then we put something called a colon. It's just two little dots. We've got nine colon o'clock. To write o'clock digitally, we're just going to put two zeros. One, two. Our clock here says nine o'clock. Beautiful job, boys and girls. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to practice telling time with you guys. Do you think you're up for it? Give me a thumbs up if you think you're up for it. Amazing job. Y'all are doing such a good job of learning with me. All right. I'm going to show you a time, and I want you to help me read it. Let's do this one first. What does my hour hand say? Remember, the hour hand is our short hand, and we always read it first. That's exactly right, boys and girls. Our hour hand says five. So I am going to write this time on my board as five colon something. Now I need to look at my minute hand. Where is my minute hand pointing? That's right, it's pointing at the 12. Should I go ahead and write five twelve? Oh wait, boys and girls, what am I supposed to write if my minute hand is pointing at the 12? That's exactly right, o'clock. It 
is 5 o'clock. Since it's 5 o'clock, jump up and down five times for me right now. Amazing, boys and girls. All righty. Let's do one more time. I'm going to adjust my clock, and I want to see if you guys can help me read it. All righty. I'm ready for you. Ready? Take a good look at it. Okay. What hand should we read first? I'm going to give you a second of private think time to answer that. That's exactly right. We need to always read our short hour hand first. In this case, what time does it say? Wait, I'm having trouble hearing you through the TV. Can you say it a little louder? Amazing, it says nine. So I'm gonna write just a simple nine on my board. Now it's time to look at our minute hand. Where is our minute hand pointing? That's right, it's at the 12. And what special thing do we do when our minute hand is pointing at the 12, boys and girls? That's exactly right. We write o'clock. It is 9 colon o'clock. But of course, we don't say the colon. We would just say 9 o'clock. Very good, boys and girls. All righty, mathematicians. Wait just one minute. What was our learning target again? That's right, it was I can tell time to the hour. Hey, didn't we just do that? Y'all are doing such an awesome job at learning our learning target. But now that you've done that, I'm embarrassed to say I need your help with something. Do y'all think you could help me with something? Thank you so much. All right, boys and girls, while I was preparing for my lesson this morning, I was writing a few times down because I wanted to quiz you guys, but as a mathematician, I made a few mistakes, which is actually a pretty cool thing, guys. We can all learn from our mistakes. They're not bad as long as we're willing to learn from them. But I accidentally mixed up the mistakes that I wrote and the right answers. So I need your help figuring out what the right answers on my little time boards are. Do y'all think you could help me with that? Thank you, I really appreciate it. Okay, guys. So here's my first one. Let me get my clock ready for you. The time that I wanted to write was this time. My little time board has two options. This option says 2 colon 0, 0. You might remember we call that 2 o'clock. My second option says 12 colon 0, 2. We would read that as 1202. Let's figure out which one matches my clock. What is the first thing we need to always look at when we are telling time, boys and girls? That's exactly right. We need to look at our hour hand. So my hour hand is pointing at the two. Is one of these options showing me the hour is two? That's right, this one is showing me that the hour is two. Now, even though we found the correct hour on this option, I wanna take a look and make 100% sure that my answer is correct. So let's double check our minute hand as well. Boys and girls, where is our long minute hand pointing? That's exactly right, it's pointing at the 12. So what do we say? We say o'clock. And if we're writing that digitally, what would we write again? That's right, we would write zero, zero. I think this was our correct time. Let's try one more. Okay, the next time that I was hoping to tell you all about is this time. Hey, wait a second. Does this clock only have two hands? I mean one hand? No, these hands are covering up one another. There are still two hands though. All right, let's take a look at our time options. The first one says 
12, 12. I noticed that both hands are pointing at the 12, so that seems like it might make sense. My second option says 12 o'clock. Let's figure out which one is correct. You guys are probably pros at this by now, so tell me, which hand do we need to consider first? That's exactly right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our hour hand. I noticed that both my hour hand and my minute hand are pointing at the 12, so let's go ahead and see which option says 12 on the hour. Give me a thumbs up if this option says 12 as our hour choice. That's exactly right, it does. But wait a second, what does this option say? You're right, it says 12 too. So as mathematicians, we need to keep digging. Let's go ahead and look at the minute hand. Where is our minute hand pointing, boys and girls? That's right, our minute hand is pointing at the 12. This option says 12, 12. Our minute hand's pointing at the 12, so that's right, right? Oh wait, Miss Phillips made such a silly mistake. That's not right. What do we always say if our minute hand is pointing at the 12, boys and girls? That's right, we say o'clock. Our correct answer must be 12 o'clock. All righty, boys and girls, thank you for helping me with that problem. I can't believe I mixed up those times, but luckily, you guys are all so smart. You helped me solve the problem. All righty, sadly guys, it is almost time for me to go, but I have a challenge for you guys today. I wanna challenge you today to look for as many clocks as you can and practice telling time. There are clocks all around us. You might want to see one on your TV right now, there's probably one on your stove or oven, sometimes an adult's wrist, in a car or many other places. If you see a clock today, I want you to practice time. I can't wait to hear how it goes when I see you again tomorrow. Alrighty guys, mathematicians are always mindful and to be mindful, we always have to remember, what was our learning target today? That's right, our learning target was I can tell time to the hour. And I'd say y'all checked that one off your list. Amazing job, guys. Beautiful job today. I would love to say thank you in person, but since we have a screen um, separating us, let's all thank ourselves by giving ourselves a huge hug. Thank you guys so much for your hard work today. You guys did awesome. Have a wonderful day. to another Music Brain Break with Mr. Middlebrooks. I teach at Calvin Donaldson Elementary School to students that are just like you every single day. So now, let's have some fun. Can everybody stand up? Can you stand up, please? You've been learning about math and you've been reading and doing all kinds of fun stuff. Now it's time to have some fun. Can you stand up? Ready? Put your hands like this. Nice. Now I'm going to sing. Do what I do. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. La 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 Nice job. This time can you nod your head, ready? Nod, nod, nod your head, nod your head together. Nod, nod, nod your head, nod your head together. La 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 Great job this time. Take your finger just like this. Touch your nose. Ready? Touch, touch, touch your nose. Touch your nose together. Touch, touch, touch your nose. Touch your nose together. La 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 la
Oh, good job. Uh, take your hands like this. Go. Wave, wave, wave your hands, wave your hands together. Wave, wave, wave your hands, wave your hands together. La 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 This time, get real big feet. Ready? Stomp, stomp, stomp real loud, stomp real loud together. Stomp, stomp, stomp real loud, stomp real loud together. La 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 Good job! Hey, I have something really fun right here. Ready? What is this? This is a triangle. Can we all draw a triangle together? Ready? Get your big, your pen just like this. Ready? Draw, draw. Draw a triangle, draw a triangle together. Draw, draw, draw a triangle, draw a triangle together. One more. This is a circle, ready? Draw, draw, draw a circle, draw a circle together. Draw, draw, draw a circle, draw a circle together. Good job singing today. Bye.